right, hello. Today I'm going to show you all how to change the props on the Force One Scoot. This is specifically the uh, original Scoot, but the version that has the uh, dome in the middle that has RGB lights in it. So what you're going to need to change the props on this are, of course, the Scoot itself, a Phillips head screwdriver, some spare props, and then this is optional, but I'm going to use it because it's easier, a prop tool like this comes with a lot of other force one products you might not have one and if that's the case you can just go ahead and use your fingers to pull off the props you might damage them in this process but i think realistically the props are already damaged if you're removing them so anyway first step we're going to take our phillips head screwdriver and we're going to remove four screws and they're all located on the bottom of the scoot they're here 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 and here kind of in a square pattern so I'll just go ahead and remove them. Make sure you put them somewhere safe because they're not, not very large screws. All right, once you've removed the screws, the top and bottom piece should be separatable. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of force, with my fingertips here, and just pull them apart like that. Pretty easy, there shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't have to use too much force, and if you do, be careful, because you could damage your scoot. But now we have the top off, so we're gonna go ahead and take our propellers out of there and put the new ones in. Remember the orientation. It is A, B, B, A. And again, A, B, B, A. So go ahead and take these off. All right, there we go. And now we're going to put the new ones on. I'm going to take the spares that are included out of the bag here. There we go. All right. So A, B, B, A. B, so let's go in there. And then there's A. And then B. And it shouldn't take too much force to get these on either. They go on pretty easily. All right. I'll double check the orientation before I seal everything back up. But now all that we have to do is put the shell back together. And look for the little, you can kind of see, little shrouds for the lights here. Make sure those go in the right spots. Now, the tough part about this is lining up all the little pins and holes. So you'll probably have to go like section by section, making sure these all line up and get put into place. Just what I'm doing right now. Be careful, because if you hang on to just the top, you could undo all your progress of these pins. There we go, and some of them will just snap into place. There we go, all right. And we're almost there, I think there's only one more left. There we go, all right. So now you can see there's no big gaps between those. And maybe if you have a few, uh, they'll get fixed once you put the screws in. And that's our last step here, which I will do right now. Put all four of the screws back in.
And uh, don't over tighten them because again, that could damage the scoot. Just finger tight. Well, if you can tighten these screws with your finger, that would be pretty impressive. All right, there we go. Got all our screws back in and props are changed. So this scoot is ready to fly again. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to email our support team, and they will get back to you as soon as possible.